I had a bit of a break uh, last week. I didn't do any building. Uh, I went to the Brecon Beacons and met a few fellow FPVers. Um, and I showed up my flying skills, you know, pretty crap at the minute. Anyway, back to it. Now I've given planes a break uh, for the time being. Um, I got sick of building them. So I've decided I'm going to rebuild my armour tan. Now this is the one that I've got. Um, the OSD was crap. So that's coming off. The ESCs I'm going to keep. Uh, receiver I'm going to keep. The flight controller which is the Afro Mini. Um, I'm taking that out. Uh, regulators and everything else. They're all coming out. So I'll show you what I'm going to use. Anyway, I can't fly it. Um, as you'll see on the DVR footage, it was quite unflyable because it was so cloudy. So it looks like I can only use that in the summer when it's all uh, dried out. This is the frame that I had when I bought uh, a top plate, which I don't know where I've put it. I have got a top plate. Anyway, I placed an order for an Armatan full top plate. Hang on. Found it. So, this is the top plate that I actually bought. I only placed an order for the top plate, but unfortunately, or well fortunately for me, they sent me a frame. They complete the whole lot. So that cost me six quid, but I got everything. <laughs> that time I had a bit of fortune. So, anyway, this is the top plate, which is a full top plate which goes on there like that. So, what I'm gonna, what am I talking about? I don't know, what am I getting at? Anyway, so this is the this is the frame. I'm gonna be using a Naze 6 full, no, Acro, Naze 6 Acro. Now I found Maytech, I think it's Maytech, or however you pronounce it, they've got these power distribution boards. Now this has got a low voltage, uh, lost model alarm, uh, it's got 12 volt, 5 volt, it's got absolutely everything. One of them if you want to know what, which way are we on there, that way, don't care. Anyway, so it's an LED control and everything else, so I'm not going to use that. I'm going to use that one. This is a power distribution board, it's got 12 volt, 5 volt and that's it. A um, couple of LEDs and that's it. So what you do is, you get your XT60 and you solder that on there like that. Simple as. Obviously you connect that to that and then you've got your power input there. No trailing wires, no nothing. So I'm going to be using that, and all you do is you just wire your ESCs directly to it. So I'm going to be using that one. Not that one, because I'm not using LEDs. I'm not going to fancify this thing. Is that even a word? I'm not going to do anything fancy with it. So I don't need that one. I'll use that for another build somewhere, I don't know. There's that. Emacs RS2205... Are they 2205s? Emacs RS2205 red bottom. These are the 27. Oh, I've got the wrong ones. No. I've got the wrong ones. This should be 2700 kV. Twenty six hundred like these. F a doodle f bollocks. Uh 
as I say, it always happens to me. I've just checked the order and I did actually order 2600 kV and not the 2300s that I was sent. Mistakes are made, but this is the second time from this supplier that the mistake has happened like this. So what I've decided I'm going to do is I'm going to take the 2600 kV off this, my 310 mil, and I'm going to put these 2300s on here. Um, and then I'm going to order another two, another two motors for this so as I can complete it and just leave 2300s on this. So anyway, that's that bit. I'll start again. Frame. Now he's 32, Rev 6, Acro. Power distribution board. Foxeer HS 1177 or something like that camera, which I've got a 3D uh, print a mount for it. D4R2, uh, 200 milliwatt VTX. Oh, incidentally, while well, I think about it, incidentally, these transmitter modules you can actually take these off here and you can use them in a micro quad because that's basically all they are is just that, that top board without all the rest of it on so if you want to save some money or, or you've got one of these lying around that's, that's knackered that's had the antenna broken off you can actually take that module off and you can use it on its own uh, if you need to know how I might do a video on it don't know yet can't be bothered at the minute anyway um, Energy Bolt 1300 uh, 4S battery. So, with these motors, <laughs> 4 by what are these? 4 by 4.5 four uh, props. These are Dal props, the unbreakable ones, although I'll prove them wrong. I know they can be broken, you know, it's not. That's that, and that. That's it, I think. There's probably other bits. Um, I'm not putting an OSD on it, don't need it, I'll just put a timer. Um, and that's it, I think, I hope. Antenna, which I'm not using that one, actually I might have to. Yeah, the polarity's wrong. Oh, shit. Anyway, I didn't want to because I've got the ones from Simon. Uh, but looks like I'm sorry Simon <laughs> I'm gonna have to use that so anyway I'm gonna start off by moving all that out of the way moving that out of the way first thing I'm gonna do is mount the the PDB in the middle there which I've got somewhere hang on hang on found it. This stuff which is 3M double sided tape um, when you immediately stick it down it doesn't stick very well at all but if you leave it overnight you know it doesn't come off again so I'm going to put some posts on there but I'm going to put a layer of this on here to insulate it from the frame um, because the last thing that you want to do is have 120 amps going through the frame because you know, it causes smoke, fire and babies die and things of it, you know. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to mount double sided mount that thing, what's it thing on there with some standoffs. Well, not with standoffs. I'm going to, whatever. I mounted the PDB there. So what I've got to do now is put the XT. 60 connector which I'll put on there and I've just got to solder it underneath you know what I mean I've got this plugged in as you can see there's two LEDs on it I hope anyway um, with everything every re regulator that you use it doesn't matter what it is make sure that it's got the correct voltage before you plug anything in it and also check the polarity um, as you can see that's supposed to be ground and that's supposed to be 5 volt and I've got 4.98 volts out of that one 
and on this one here I've got ground there and I'm supposed to have 12 volt there which I have so with everything because I have actually had not these in particular I've had other regulators that have got um, I've checked the output and it's basically right straight through through from the battery so be a warning make sure you check your voltage small problem uh, these motors they're not actually designed to go on a frame this size or this size isn't designed for these motors whichever way around anyway so they don't actually fit in there so what I've got to do is drill holes for them um, so I've got an old motor here that I've just stripped the, uh, the commutator, the windings or whatever else out of um, I'm going to line it up there and then I'm just going to drill through um, some 3mm holes so I've got some mountings for them it does actually avoid the warranty on this frame but you know don't care so they'll fit on look at the size of them <laughs> it's going to crash <laughs> so I've got to do that now I've got to drill the, drill the four holes out um, obviously for the four motors and then I'll mount them and then I'll mount the ESC's which are probably going to burn out because they're only 20 amp well they might be 30's, I think they're actually 20's, don't care um, I'm going to mount them there, like that it's all going to set on fire it's taken me three hours to actually drill these holes through to make them in the right place but they're all done now so those motors are way, 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 way too big. But I don't care. So it's going to have the 4 inch props on it, which just about clear the frame. So what I've got to do next is get the ESCs. Um, and I've got to mount them as close to the wires as I possibly can. It's going to be tight, but you know. Oh dear. I feel another pain coming on just so you can see how I do this uh, I've already obviously attached that one um, I put 3M tape down and then I get the speed controller when I can find the last one and then I put it on there like that now I take the tape off you've got the wires there they're cut to near enough length uh, you take the tape off and you slide that underneath like that so as the centre one's lined up and then you pop it down and stick it down like that and then you can solder directly all the three wires like that it's not the best of soldering but it works um, while I'm on um, you can see the positive and the negative of actually taking the power wires I've taken off this uh, a good idea to do is just mark one side of the board so I know that side's positive there so all you do is just get a marker and the same with all the others so as you just know which one's positive which one's negative and uh, the same with the, the signal wires just leave, leave the wire on if you need to take them off and then you can easily put it back together know what I mean? So I've done three, I'll just do the fourth and then I'll put the power wires and I'll put them up to the um, the PDB and then we'll fire it up and see if anything there, any, any smoke comes out. All the wires, the power wires are soldered onto the PDB um, and at every point when I've soldered one ESC to it uh, I've plugged the battery in just to make sure that there's no smoke. So now there is no smoke we're in business so now what I'm going to do is I can find the naze, there it is I'm going to fit the naze onto it um, which goes that way I'm going to fit the naze onto it, I'm going to wire the um, ESC's to the naze and I don't know what I'm doing next camera, could be someone else, don't know yet 
I've wired the ESCs up. Now in my usual crap that I usually crapping well crapping get, um, I couldn't use BL Heli, not BL Heli, yes BL Heli pass through, it wouldn't work. For some reason, I think it's because these have got the wrong bootloader on. So anyway, what I had to do was disconnect each one and reverse them because they're all going the wrong way, but they're all going the right way now. So I've done that. Um, this is my D4R2, which I've de-pinned. I always de-pin everything now. Uh, the reason being, I've actually had a couple of quads where it's lost connection, purely because the wires have come off. So I take all the wires off, all the connectors, and hardwire everything now. So that's going on the back because there is absolutely nowhere else it can go. And then I've got, no, oh, that's the front, you dickhead. That's going on the back there. Uh, I've got a 5 volt here for it, and I've also got to put another wire, uh, one that goes to the nays. And then I've got my beeper to put on, and the camera, and that's it. So I'm going to mount the. Um, Mount the receiver now. I think I'm going to put it on there. But I might put it on the lid. The top, the top plate, the lid. <laughs> I'll put it on the lid. <laughs> uh, but I don't, I don't know yet. That's got the VTX on it, so I don't. I really should put it in the middle there somewhere. I don't know. We'll see. Now there's a big jump here in the video, purely because I got. Oh, I lost my temper and things didn't go very well and I couldn't be asked to actually video it. So what we've got now is it's fully built, it's ready. Um, got my favourite battery strap on there. Ooh. Um, Foxeer uh, HS1177 camera. Now he's 32. The Maytech, I can't remember, it's earlier in the video, uh, Maytech PDB, uh, which has also got 12 volt, 5 volt output on it. These are DYS SN20 um, ESCs, which I really don't know if they're going to be enough. And these are Emax 2205 2600 KV uh, with an ET. 200 VTX on the back or underneath, uh, D4R2 in the middle. I've just tried this in the living room and it's scary. It really is scary. Um, the amount of thrust that it's got is just unbelievable. It's going to crash. It's going to crash fast. Trouble is the weather isn't very good at the minute. So it's done. Oh yes, by the way, of these things here, that what I've used on this, I've 3D printed some uh, mounts for the antenna. And these bits here are actually off an AXN. It's this stuff that the servo um, cables go through, the servo wires, which is absolutely fantastic for 2.4 gig um, antennas. So if you've got an AXN, don't chuck it away. Yeah. Maiden coming soon. It's going to be a very short one. I was at the Brecon beat of <coughs> bollocks and shit twat. Where am I? So the, the nose is. It's not going like that, you dickhead. Yeah, it's this Rev 6 in it. The Rev 5 has the USB connector there. I've. 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 Oh, 